Hello everyone and welcome. The 125th scale 78 Trans Am model to RC conversion is back on the bench. This has been one of my more popular ongoing projects here on the channel and today I'm very excited to update you all on the progress that's been made so far. It's a bit of a strange mix of parts with a super scale leaf spring rear suspension paired with a high speed brushless motor all packed into this cool looking AMT 78 Trans Am model kit. A wild and unique build for sure, but I have reached a bit of a roadblock with this project, so I'm hoping some of you all can help me come up with some ideas. More on that later on. Now if you aren't familiar with this build and would like to catch up, feel free to check out the playlist below in the description where I introduce this project and showcase all the work that's been done so far. But with that introduction out of the way, let's dive back into this project. With the chassis being a completed roller, the next step to make this model move is to add the electronics. These include a small brushless ESC that I've had sitting around for a while, a 2S LiPo battery, a micro Radiolink R4F GM receiver, and a 4500 kV brushless motor. Now thanks to that shallow interior piece that I made in a prior video, having room to place these electronics on the chassis will be no problem. I will however need to remove this center section of the chassis to allow enough room for the drive shaft. There certainly has been a lot of hacking involved with this build, but I will be going back and cleaning up all the edges a bit and painting the chassis so hopefully it will look a bit more presentable in the end. It is necessary though as I have to create enough room for these RC components. So now that there's plenty of room for the motor and drive shaft, next I need to design and 3D print a motor mount piece that will secure the motor to the chassis. I made this design using Autodesk Fusion 360. Basically, I made a very simple sort of crossmember piece that will allow the motor to be secured to it, and I'll be gluing this mount to the chassis. Now creating a couple of holes on each side would have been even better so that the mount could be secured with some small screws rather than glue. This of course would make replacing it a little easier if needed, but I didn't really think to add those holes until after the parts had been printed, so I ended up just gluing them to the chassis, which worked just fine. I got the motor mounted and test fit it on the chassis. I like that the back of the motor can rest on the front suspension cross member, so no worries about the heat from the motor causing that 3D printed plastic motor mount to sag. Now before I went any further, I did quickly test out all of the electronics prior to mounting everything on the car. Always best to do this sooner rather than later. I also went ahead and adjusted the endpoints for the steering servo. Before I secured all the electronics to the chassis, I made the drive shaft by cutting a section of steel rod to the correct length and then glued the ends onto it. With the drive shaft cut to the correct length, I glued the motor mount to the chassis and then secured the remaining electronics. Everything fits nicely on the chassis and the body is able to fit over top without any issues. Obviously I'll need to come up with some sort of way to mount the body, but for now I just used some tape. With the weight of the electronics now added, I'm happy with the position of the rear suspension. The ride height looks good and there's plenty of travel in the rear. I will however need to adjust the front suspension a bit as it's completely bottomed out right now. Still more cosmetic work is needed on this car, but already it's looking pretty cool. Of course at this point I had to take the car for a test drive. I ended up crashing the car on the first attempt resulting in a broken drive shaft end. It was clear that this car has a lot of speed, enough to roll the car over in a turn as I found out, but this direct drive setup with almost no gear reduction simply doesn't have the torque. Lots of cogging and the motor heats up very quick. I did run the car without the body as you see here since the bottomed out front suspension was rubbing against the body enough to cause some resistance, but clearly even here some changes will need to be made. Now this is where I could use some ideas as I can't really find any gearbox or transmission that would be compatible with this size motor and that would work with this car's drivetrain layout. There are non-RC specific planetary gearboxes or gear reduction assemblies out there that you'll see on smaller size motors and they seem like they'd be perfect for this application but none that I've found would be able to bolt up to this specific brushless motor and I don't really see a feasible way to modify these assemblies to fit 
or create some kind of adapter. Everything else I've seen in the world of Micro RC either requires a different size motor or the drivetrain layout is completely different from what I have here, so the gearboxes seen on those vehicles wouldn't really fit. As of now, I'm kind of thinking that the best solution will be to simply keep this same drivetrain and install a larger motor with more torque. Fortunately, there is plenty of room under this hood for a larger motor, so that is a possibility. I think 3D printing any kind of gear reduction set in this scale would be very difficult. Maybe on a slower and lower powered car, it would be doable, but I'm not sure it would work too well on this project, and it would take some time to design and prototype. But again, if any of you know of some kind of gearbox that's compatible with this motor and that might fit this car, let me know. Unfortunately, there just doesn't seem to be that many micro scale cars or trucks that run a front longitudinal mounted motor with rear wheel drive, aside from our own chassis. Regardless though, I'll be making this car work one way or another, even if it means a bit of a compromise will be required, so be sure to stay tuned. Meanwhile though, I'll be working on getting the suspension dialed in, the interior painted, and the body finished up. As always, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.